Hi and welcome to the tutorial for the light thing stuff things that I promised to make. Um, so we're gonna start off with downloading two programs. Uh, you, you gotta download normal map editor. I'll put a link in the description. Um, you also have to download texture packer. This is a thing that you have to download. So if you've done that, great. I made this thing, which it's supposed to be a couch. Um, part of why it doesn't look like a couch is because it misses the shadowy uh, part, which makes it look more or less like a couch. We're not going to do that here, because we're going to do that with lights. Yeah, I'll upload this. You can also make something yourself. So. Uh, save this as I, I always save it as a Photoshop file, but you can also save it as a PNG um, Whatever you like don't save it as a JPEG you, you then get a white background instead of a transparent background <coughs> Okay, so then we're going to Sprite Illuminator and we're gonna Import the thing so there it is um it's quite easy. What you have to do is select part of the couch like this, part of your whatever you're making, um, and select the angle. I always use discrete because it makes things easier. But you know, um, then you just use the brush and the other side. You see this. Now this part is pointing to the left and this part is pointing to the right. So if we move the lamp around you can see that it totally worked. But you can't just save it and go to Unity. You have to do a few things first. Like um, you have to export normals. What this does is it will export this image. Um, yeah, that's actually what it does. So now you're going to go to texture packer and you're gonna import both these things. So the thing you just exported and you, the, the thing you made. There they are. Uh, there are a lot of options. I've never really bothered to find out what they do. But what you have to kind of do, you have the, um, blah, blah, blah. You're going to go to advanced settings and this is a very important part. You have to click on this. So yeah, that's actually all you have to do in here. Okay. So now you click on publish sprites sheet and you go to the couch thing or whatever. Just this. All right. There are a lot of uh, errors and stuff, but you can just ignore those. Actually, yeah, great. No anxiety, no anxiety, no anxiety. Okay. Anyway, um, you click on OK, and then this is a very important step. You have to go back to Sprite Illuminator and export normals one more time. That's, don't ask me why, or ask me why in the comments and I'll explain it. But right now I'm gonna go on. Uh, to Unity. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is import the things we made. All right. I'm gonna assume that you know how to do this. Um, if you don't, you can ask in the comments. But this is basic Unity pixel art stuff. There are tons of other tutorials about this so you know I'm happy to help but this is not the tutorial for that um, all right um, next up you're gonna do the same thing for your normal map the basic thing import thing uh, apply all right now these things look foreign or weird or alien 
or whatever. But don't be afraid. You can just delete this. Uh, then you have to drag the normal map on here. So this is the material. This is the normal map and you have to drag it on here. Okay, so this is a couch. This is the couch sprite which we imported and if you go here you can see it. Uh, the thing you have to do right now is drag the material onto the material of this sprite. And look. Mm. So I'm gonna get the light, move it around a little, and you can see that it worked. So that's great, but I can hear you thinking, what if I've got a sprite that's moving, like animated stuff? For example, no, for example, this, this pine tree thing. So um, if you save it, PNG or Photoshop file, whatever you want, and go to the pine tree, Okay, there they are. So, if if you've got a, an animated sprite sheet, you want them to have the same lightning because else it will get glitchy and stuff. So what I always do is use this. Looks a bit weird, but it's not. It looks good in the game. So just do whatever you want. This is probably not what you one but something like this and apply and again export normals then the same thing you go into texture packer I'll just I'll just remove these I'll just open a new project yeah so you do the same thing you import those things and you go to advanced settings and back with same layout and publish sprite sheet Okay, hide the warnings. Um, then we go back and export the normal scan. Don't forget this step. The first few times that you're doing this, you're probably gonna forget it, but you know, don't. Um, all right. I'm gonna drag the pine tree thing in here. You probably have your own way of importing and stuff. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we have a sprite sheet with multiple sprites. So this is it's also basic Unity stuff. Mm. Okay. So um, cell count four. Awesome. Okay, now we've got for sprites. We're gonna do the same thing for the normal map image. Alright. I'm not sure I'm doing it right. Okay, you can delete this thing again and drag this on here. Okay. You now drag the material on here you can see it looks kind of funny but that's because I didn't deselect this specular specular highlights not sure what it means I just know it makes things ugly so if I go to the to the point light you can see it's awesome um, Sometimes you have to move the light around a little, like on the Z value position thing here. 
sometimes even this with 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 directional lights but that's up to you to figure out just don't don't be worried if you don't immediately get results sometimes you just have to move it around because unity 3d is a 3d program so it's not perfect but it works most of the time if you now look at the tree which is <laughs> a lovely just a lovely animation uh, there's one more important thing before I end this tutorial um, if you have like a, a character like I do you're gonna have to it's it's the same process as with a, the couch and the pine tree thing but you have to uh, make sprites for both directions you can't just flip it in game because the light will get screwed up so you have to you know do this you have to make the exact same sprite uh, for both sides so yeah that's it actually but if you've got any questions just just let me know in the comments or whatever send send me a letter thanks and i look forward to seeing your awesome lamp things goodbye <laughs>